Hello everyone, this is Tim from Cleveland Baseball Fan 879, and today is game number 87 of the 2007 Cleveland Indians Mostly Advanced Replay. Uh, today, the, this is game number two in their series against the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, the Indians come into the game with a 38-48 and 48 record, and the Blue Jays have a 45-40 and 40 record. And today's pitching matchup for the Toronto Blue Jays is Sean Markham. And for the Indians is the pitcher formerly known as Fausto Carmona. At least he was known that as that for this year. All right, here's the lineups. Starting with the Indians, leading off and playing center field, Grady Sizemore. Batting second and playing third base, Casey Blake. Batting third and playing and catching is Victor Martinez. Batting fourth and playing and designated hitter, Travis Hafner. Batting fifth and playing shortstop, Johnny Peralta. Batting 6th and playing 1st base, Ryan Garko. Batting 7th and playing right field, Trot Nixon. Batting 8th and playing left field, Ben Francisco. And batting ninth, the 2nd baseman, Josh Barfield. And for the home team Blue Jays, leading off and playing center field, Vernon Wells. Batting 2nd and playing left field, Reed Johnson. Batting 3rd and playing right field, Alex Rios. Um, batting fourth and playing first baseman, the fellow Canadian, and has actually played for both the uh, Blue Jays and the Expos, Matt Stairs. Uh, batting fifth, the designated hitter, Frank Thomas. Batting sixth and catching, Greg Zahn. Batting seventh and playing second base, Aaron Hill. Yep. And batting eighth and playing third base is Howie Clark. And batting ninth and playing shortstop, John McDonald. All right. And I'll give you Carmona stats after uh, we get, we get to when the when he starts to pitch. But well, leading off and playing center field, Grady Sizemore, 296 average, eight or nine home runs, and 37 RBIs. Here's the pitch of Sizemore. Five, eight. And against the lefty second base X, but the 20 will be easy play for Hill. One down. And here is Casey Blake. Four, three. And against a righty, that's a fly ball deep left field. Going back is Johnson and gone. Uh, 4 3 against the radio, 1 to 18 home run chance. That's a 10. And that's Casey Blake who came into the game hitting 265. We'll raise that average. He now has his uh, eighth home run and 40th RBI. And the Indians get out to a 1 0 lead. Here's Victor Martinez. Five, six, and batting lefty. That's a swing and a miss. Strike three. Two down. And here's Travis Hafner. Oops, I to give you, I'll give you Martinez the stats coming into the game. Here's Travis Hafner coming into the game, batting 256, 16 homers, 55 RBIs. 6 10 against the lefty. Just missed a home run, but. Fly ball to right, and there is Rios, and that will retire the side, but the Indians will play in front today. And after half inning, it's the Indians one and the Blue Jays nothing. And do up for the, the Blue Jays, Wells, Johnson, and Rios. And the pitching stats for the pitcher formerly known as Fausto Carmona, and this is his... Uh, 17th start, he is 6-6, six and six, and in 97 innings pitched, has allowed 44 earned runs, walked 31, and struck out 66 for a 4.08 ERA. And here's the pitch to Vernon Wells. 5-2, and against the righty, ground ball to short, Peralta throws to first, one down. Here's Reed Johnson. Six. 
six six. Ground ball to short. Peralta again. Rose to first, two down. And here's Alex Rios. Six six and another ground ball to short. So Peralta assists on all three outs. And we go to the top of the second. Indians leading one to nothing. Do it for the Indians. Peralta, Garco, and Nixon. And Peralta coming into the game. 257 average. 14 homers, 42 RBIs. Here's the pitch to uh, Peralta. 3-5, goes down on strikes. And Peralta, that is a 71st strikeout of the season. Not great. Here's Ryan Garko. Garko comes into the game with a 248 average, uh, nine homers, 31 RBIs. And a 4-6 fly ball to center, and Vernon Wells is there and makes the catch two down. Here's Trout Nixon. Five, five, and ground ball to first, and Stairs will take it to the base himself. One, two, three inning for the Indians here in the top of the second. We go to the bottom half. One nothing Indians and do up for the Bull Jays. Stairs, Thomas, and Zahn. All right, here's the pitch to Stairs, professional hitter. Five, five, and either side swing and a miss, strike three. First strikeout for. Carmona today. Here's Frank Thomas. One eight, and that's a 15. At least they keep him in the yard. But Thomas reaches second with a one out double. It's a one to 11 home run chance, but that's a 15. And Thomas is on second. They will not hold him on. And here's Greg Zahn. Two, six, and boy, they are teeing off on him. That gets off the wall. Scoring from second is Thomas, and it is one to one. So back to back doubles by the Blue Jays. That was a one to 11 home run chance for Zahn, and he missed it. So not fooling anybody here in the second inning. And here's Aaron Hill. Four, six. And that's more like it. Swing and a miss, strike three. And here's Howie Clark. Must not play a lot against the left handers. Three, seven. Ground ball to second. Burfield throws to first. And that will retire the side. The Blue Jays do get a run back on the double by Zahn. We go to the third, tied at one. And do it for the Indians, Francisco, Barfield, and Sizemore. And Francisco on the season, three hits and 21 at bats for a 143 ERA or 143 batting average. One nine, one to five home run chance. That's a four, and it is out of here. 
Home run for Francisco, his first of the year. No, second of the year, sorry. So second home run and only his second RBI. A 1-9 against the righties, a 1-5 home run chance. That's a 4, so the Indians regain the lead 2-1. to one. Using the long ball today, and here's Josh Barfield, who's only normal power against left-handed pitching. 6-10. Oh, just missed one there. Ground ball to short. And McDonald throws the first two down. Oh, Barfield came into the game with a 284 batting average with uh, two home runs and 24 RBIs. All right, here's Grady Sizemore. Uh, he rounded out his first time up. 2-4, pops it up. First base side, and there is Stairs to put it away, two down. And here's Casey Blake, whose first inning homer gave the Indians a lead. 5-5, five, five, and not this time, swing and a miss, strike three. But the Francisco homer gives the Indians a 2-1 lead. And do up for the Blue Jays, McDonald, and then Wells and Johnson here in the bottom of the third. As I mentioned before in the last video, John McDonald, a longtime Cleveland Indian, well loved. And here's the pitch to McDonald. One five, fly ball to left. And Francisco makes the catch one down. Here's Vernon Wells. Uh, Wells grounded out his first time up. Five, seven. Second base has X. Uh, eight will not be in range for Barfield. Just out of range. And so Barfield is an E21. E21 and a 7, I don't think is going to be... It is good enough. Wow. Nice play for Barfield. Dives, stops it, throws to first, and they get the speedy Wells. And here's Reed Johnson, two down. And playing that just like his father did. And of course, his father was Jesse Barfield. Oops. And time out. Excuse me, time out while I, I retrieve the die. All right. And we'll try this again for Johnson. One, eight, and he hit him. We're not playing injuries because this is as played. So Johnson reaches. They will hold him on. There's Alex Rios. Three eights goes down looking for strike three. So third strikeout for Carmona. And we are through three. The Indians lead two to one. And do up for the Indians, Martinez, Hefner, and Peralta. And here's the pitch to Victor. Five twelve second base X nineteen. That will be an that will be a good play for Aaron Hill. One down. Here's Hafner. Hafner coming into the game. Two fifty six. 16 homers, 15, 5 RBIs. 1, 2, and that's a fly ball to right. And Rios is under it, puts it away, 2 down. Here's Johnny Peralta. 
three, seven, fly ball to center. One, two, three inning for the Indians here in the fourth. And we go to the bottom half. Indians lead two to one. And do up for the Blue Jays, Stairs, Thomas, and Zahn. Okay. Stairs, a strikeout victim, his first time up. Three, three, ooh. Ground ball to first, and Garko will take it to the bag himself, one down. So not one to live in that column. There's Frank Thomas. Double and scored his first time up. One, seven, swing and a miss, strike three. Two down. Here's Greg Zahn. Doubled in Thomas his first time up. Four seven. Switch hitter batting left handed. Fly ball to center. Science Moore is there, and that will retire the side. One, two, three inning for the Blue Jays, and we go to the fifth. Indians lead two to one. And do up for the Indians, Garco, Nixon, and Francisco. Here's Garko. Two, five, base hit to center field. So lead off single for the Indians. They will not hold Garko on. And here's Trot Nixon. Nixon came in, comes into the game. 289 average. Uh, no homers and uh, 15 RBIs. Two, nine. Ground ball to short. The second for one on the first double play. So two out, nobody on. And here's Ben Francisco, who put the Indians ahead his last time up. Three, five, and he goes down on strikes, and that will retire the side. Bottom of the fifth, Indians lead two to one, and do up for the Blue Jays, Hill, Clark, and McDonald. Five eleven is a left field X. Uh, left fielder is Francisco. Okay, so three. He he should make this play on eighteen, and he does. So Francisco is, ranges over, puts it away, one down, and here is Howie Clark. Six four. Third base X, 11 will not be in range for Casey Blake. He is an E17. And an 8 will be fine. So Blake makes the play, tough play. Two down. And I'll bring up John McDonald. Flew out his first time up. Five, eight, ground ball to third. A little easier play for Blake this time, and that'll retire the side. One, two, three inning for the Blue Jays here in the fifth. We go to the top of the sixth, and this is Markham's point of weakness inning. So they will keep an eye on him. But be going through his third time through the order, and, and as well, Barfield, Sizemore, and Blake do up. And... They will get bullpen action. Uh, Scott Downs and Brian Wolf will be loosening in the pen. All right, here's the pitch to Markham, or for Markham to Burfield. 
Garfield grounded out his first time up. One six. And that's a high pop up to the shortstop. Caught by McDonald, one down. Here's Grady Sizemore. Six three pitcher X. And since it's not in the top three or bottom three on the D20, that is out of range, but he is an E0, so he will make the play. One to three, two down. Here's Casey Blake, who was homer in the first inning and struck out in the third inning. Two, six. And that's a one to seven home run chance. Just missed his second home run of the game. But that's a two-out double for Blake. That is Casey's 19th double of the season. And here comes Victor Martinez to try to drive him home. Four, six, and against the left-handed batter, ground ball to second. And Hill throws the stairs, and that will retire the side. Indians strand a runner on second, and after five and a half, it is the Indians two, and the Blue Jays one. I think we'll maybe let Markham go to the seventh. He's only given up two runs. All right, Carmona will face top third of the order, Wells, Johnson, and Rios. Or 11 and a 1 to 13 home run chance, but just got under it. Wells did, and that'll be caught in front of the warning track by Francisco. One down, and here's Reed Johnson. One eight. And for the second time today, he's been hit. Ooh, there should be a stratomatic thing for... You hit the same batter twice in a game, you should be a, have a warning. But they don't, so... One out base runner will be held on. Uh, make Rios a B hit and run. Hmm. And to stay out of the double play, they'll go ahead and actually... Uh, I'll let him swing away. Three ten, and probably should have actually hit and run. Ten's probably not that great either. But a three ten for against a right-handed pitcher. Ground ball to third. Blake to Barfield to Garko. Inning ending double play, and we go to the seventh. Indians 2, Blue Jays 1. And Markham will now pretty much be on base runner and you're done. As Markham has faced uh, 21 batters through 6 innings, so 3 over the minimum. Here's Travis Hafner, 0 for 2. One eight base hit the left field. And do they want to go to Wolf now against the righty? Let's see, we got righty, righty, lefty. Hmm. All right, they're gonna go to Wolf, at least to pitch to the next two batters. So All right, so Brian Wolf comes on, and here's Johnny Peralta. 2-7, and he draws a walk. First and second, and here's Garko. 
Uh, they're not expecting a bunt, and he will not bunt. And here's the pitch to Garko. Four two, and against a righty line drive caught by the first baseman stairs, and getting back to, to their bases, one down. And since he has weak power, we'll let. Ooh, maybe not. Timeout. All right, and they're gonna take out uh, Wolf after two batters. And let Scott Downs pitch to Trot Nixon. Nixon, runner on first and second, one down. Not be, neither runner being held on. And here's the pitch to Nixon. 5-12. Second base X, and that's a 20. And so Hill will probably be turning two here. Yeah, two and a 20. Oh, ground ball to the second goes to short for one or short second for one on to first inning ending double play. Yeah, some other short circuited rally there. And Downs does his JOB there. He may come out and pitch the at least another batter or two. All right. Uh, stretch time at Rogers Center. It's saying you're taking me out to the ball games. Uh, this is Carmona's point of weakness inning, but they'd like to see if he can't go at least another inning or two. And he'll face Stairs, Thomas, and Zahn. Stairs 0 for 2 with a strikeout. 6 8. Lefty base hit for Stairs. And the Indians will get bullpen action. Uh, Raphael Betancourt. And Tom Masney are loosening in the pen. I'll bring up Frank Thomas. They're not holding on stairs. One eight. And not so lucky this time with the 1-8 roll. That ball is hit deep to center field. Sizemore looking up, and it's out of here. Oh, I mean, guess that would have been a home run either way on either pitcher, so I can't really do anything about that. And the Blue Jays take a 3-2 lead. And I think that'll be it for... Well, righty, righty, right, righty, lefty, righty. Hmm. I'd rather say Betancourt for the eighth inning if I can. see here. Sorry, time out. All right, so into pitch is Raphael Betancourt. And he'll face Greg Zahn. Blue Jays leading 3-2. Two. 2-3. Two, two, Base hit to center field. And here's Aaron Hill. They will not hold on Zahn. One five, fly ball to left. Francisco, one down. Here's Howie Clark. Clark 0 for 2 with two ground outs. Five eight second base X will a thirteen be in range for Barfield 
yes on a three, but he will only get the runner at second. The relay throw is not in time. So two down, runner at first for John McDonald. One seven, ground ball to second, throws to first, and that will retire the side. Blue Jays get two in the bottom of the seventh, and they go to the eighth. Uh, they'll probably let Downs pitch for at least a couple batters. Actually, they'll get somebody else loosening in the pen. Time out. Alright, third Blue Jay pitcher today, Jason Fraser, is coming into the ballgame. And he will face Francisco Burfield and Sizemore. 311, fly ball to right. One down. Here's Josh Barfield. Three eleven ground ball to short. Two down, and here is Grady Sizemore. Two nine fly ball to right, and that will retire the side. Uh, I think they'll leave Button Court out to at least pitch the second inning of work. Two up for the Blue Jays in the bottom of the eighth, leading three to two. Top of the order, Wells, Johnson, and Rios. And the Blue Jays will get uh, Casey Jantz. No, they'll get uh, Jeremy Accardo loosening in the pen. That's second inning of work for... Button court. One five. Swing on a strike three. And here's Reed Johnson. Three seven. Fly ball to center. And there's Brady Sizemore. Two down. Here's Alex Rios. Six four center field X twelve is not in range for Sizemore. Nope, he is an E two. E two and a six is good. So Sizemore tracks it down, and we go to the ninth. Indians trail three to two. And in comes Accardo to try to close it out. Had a little problems the game before. But they'll give him another chance. And do it for the Indians, Blake Martinez and Hafner. So those are the three you kind of want. Here's Casey Blake. Fourth pitcher of the game for the Blue Jays. Five three left field is Johnson. A two and a four is caught. Nice running catch for Reed Johnson. That one, two, or three would have been a hit, but not a four. Here's Victor Martinez. Two five ground ball back to the mound and. Cardo throws to first, two down. Last hope for the Indians, Travis Hafner. 
Five, six against the lefty, fly ball to right, and there is Rios, and that's your ball game. Final score from Rogers Center. Uh, Blue Jays win this one three to two, and we'll be right back with your box score. All right, final line score, uh, Blue Jays three runs, five hits, no errors. Indians two runs, five hits, no errors. Uh, Carmona gets the loss, giving up three runs in seven inning in six innings. Uh, Markham, no, Swiver, let's see. Uh, Timeout. So since Downs got the final out in the top of the seventh, he will be the winner. And uh, Accardo gets the save. So the Indians move to go down to 38 and 49 on the season. And the next matchup, which will be on the channel, the final game of this three game series, will be Paul Bird against Josh Towers. So, all right, everybody, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have not already done so, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and be notified of any new videos. And whatever games you are playing, please enjoy them to your fullest. Have a good night, everybody.